WICR. Hello, Iona College. Welcome back to the Sports Wall for the final segment. Did our NFL, did our NBA, did our MLB. So, of course, we've got to finish it off with college football. Now, I was on the morning show talking a little bit about college football, and I kind of said this week was kind of a transition, kind of to get us over the hump to the next two weeks. The next two weeks are going to be pure insanity. Pure, I mean, just the matchups we're going to have, rivalry week, the championship games, the rankings are going to be just all over the place. We're going to have a lot of fun debates coming up, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I have no changes to my top four. I really don't. Florida State, for me, is still for me is number one now. Rob, I know you disagree with me a little bit. I mean, it was, again, though, I mean, just narrowly winning 20 to 17 really could have lost that game the Gators up next I think Florida is going to be an interesting game because offensively Florida is not very good but their defense is very good and they're going to get I think it'll be a low scoring game it's going to be a very interesting game I mean Florida State does have this game at home which is going to give them a little bit of an edge but and I think they will win but I think that Gator, Gators are going to present a tough matchup for them. Oh they will because you know what Jameis Winston really isn't playing on to that high level no. and if he struggles he needs to come out of the gate and start throwing touchdowns early in the games if he struggles like he has the last two weeks they're really going to suffer and they're going to be knocked out and that's been the big problem for them all years slow starts they really haven't come out of the gate at all this year and really been on fire and I, I know, Rob, for you, you wanted to drop them down a little bit, and it's kind of frustrating for me because Florida State, I feel like we got to keep, we have, our, our hand is kind of forced because they haven't been, the they've probably been the least impressive uh, team in the top four, but we can't do anything about it really because our hands are tied because they haven't lost a game in two seasons now. I think they do still, they have to be in the top four, but I think wherever you put them in the top four, I'm okay with. Just because we're our hands kind of forced, they haven't been the most impressive, but they keep finding ways to win. Oh, yeah, you have to keep them in the top four, though. But, Joe, I, I'm dropping them all the way to four. It's just I go I, I don't, I go by performance. I don't go by if you're undefeated or not. I go by the team's performance. And Florida State really does not deserve to be in that one or two category. And I, I am a, I'm 100% okay with that. I really am. I think you have 100% legitimate evidence and concern to put them there i have no disagreement number two for me i was alabama 10 and 1 beat western carolina 48 to 14 in setting up a matchup against the auburn tigers and i'm a little nervous about this matchup for people who don't know i'm a big auburn fan because let's be honest alabama is going to want payback they want blood for what happened last year, and I think right now Auburn is kind of coming into this. They did win 31 to seven against St- Samford, but I mean they're not coming into this game playing at the level they're capable of, which I think is bad. I mean this could be an ugly game here. What do you expect out of Auburn, Alabama? I think Alabama might blow them out in this yeah. one. It's it's the revenge game, yep. and Alabama. They've looked good the last three weeks. They beat two teams in the top 25. They beat the number one ranked Mississippi State, and they're on a roll. And y- you know how it is, Joe, with Saban's team. When they're on a roll, there's no stopping them. I'm with you. Then you've got the Oregon Ducks, 10-1, and beat Colorado 44-10 to at Oregon State this week. Now, this is going to be a tough game. Oregon State-Oregon is always a good rivalry. Oregon State, a couple weeks ago, beating Arizona State at home, which is a very good team. This is going to be a tough game for Oregon, but... I do think Oregon will win. I think having the bye week last week for the final before the final two games was huge for Marcus Mariota because he gets that little rest and now he knows what's in front of him. He gets the rest towards the end importantly. He rests up. I mean, he's just he's the Heisman. You can't put anyone else. I know Melvin Gordon had the incredible week last week, but I think Marcus Mariota is a clear-cut favorite. He's got 32 passing touchdowns, 9 rushing touchdowns, 590 97 rushing yards, 3,103 uh, passing yards. The guy's just incredible. Oregon, I really am looking forward to the Pac-12 championship game. Looks like we'll have UCLA and Oregon. Going to be fantastic, but for me, it's all Marcus Mariota. What about you, Rob? Oh, Marcus Mariota, man. He is unbelievable with the offense that he has the guys always getting chased in the pocket this guy is an amazing quarterback and we look joe ever since they lost to arizona his team has put up over 40 points in each game that they've won yes 
And this team, you better watch out for them. Especially Oregon State. They have they have a bad time right now to be playing this hot Oregon team. I'm with you. Now, four, I know you have Florida State. I have Mississippi State still 10-1, and one, beat Vanderbilt 51-0. They pl- they're they at Ole Miss this weekend. I thought we all were kind of lining up this game against Ole Miss, but then Ole Miss getting shut out against Arkansas, losing 30 to nothing. I-, I think it takes a little bit out of this game because I think Mississippi State should really win this game. I think they're the better team right now. But it makes an interesting case because let's let's look ahead a little bit, Rob. Mm-hmm. Ohio State right now, we all agree, is playing very, very well. If Mississippi State doesn't, uh, we think Alabama will beat Oregon. So Auburn, I mean, Alabama is going to most likely be playing in the SEC championship game. If Alabama does win the SEC championship game and Mississippi State finishes out with the win but doesn't get to that championship game, what do you do at the fourth spot? Do you move Ohio State in if Ohio State wins the Big Ten championship game? Or do you put Mississippi State in that four spot? Wow, that's a real tough one. It's very tough. I would actually keep Mississippi State in. I think I'm leaning towards that, too. Ian and I were talking about it this morning, and he kind of convinced me a little bit. I mean, I like Ohio State a lot, but just look at the body of work. Even without the championship game, I love Ohio State. JT Barrett's phenomenal, but they haven't played anywhere near the competition that Mississippi State has. I mean, just keep going back to that stretch Mississippi State had where they played Texas A&M, LSU, Auburn, Kentucky, and Arkansas. Winning all those games, insane. I know they lost to Alabama. It was was a clearly one-sided favorite in, in favor of Alabama, but I just think it. I have such a hard time taking a team out whose one loss would be to Alabama when they lo- beat all those other teams, I I don't know. I just have a hard time with it. And it shows you, I mean, when the committee expands it, it's going to be even more fun because if you could get a team like Ohio State in there and then add a team like TCU in there, mm-hmm. it would just open up so many more doors. But right now, we've got the four. I'm okay with it. This next week is going to be incredible. Speaking of Ohio State, they do play Michigan. Michigan is going to just get fallen over in that game. Last year, this game was a little bit interesting, but let's be honest, this is going to be a very, very one-sided game. Uh, going on, though, too, you had the highlight game of the weekend, USC and UCLA. This was a very good matchup. UCLA really handing them this one heavily. They've had a fantastic year, UCLA. The two losses, though, I mean, but the two losses are the good team. Teams, Utah and the Oregon. Well, are you a big fan of this UCLA team, Rob? Oh, I'm a big fan. I think that it, it amazes me because I look back a couple years ago where the program once was. You know, they were just getting their things starting together, fixing it up. And where they are at now, I'm very impressed how the athletic director has really changed this team, the great coaching staff he's brought together. And this UCLA team is going to be one to watch out for in the next couple years. I'm definitely with And I think I said this morning... College football is better when UCLA is relevant. When UCLA is a good program, it makes the whole sport better. It makes it interesting. There's a couple programs of college football. When they're good, it's good for everyone. And I think it's UC, USC, UCLA, Tennessee. I think when programs like that are good and relevant, it makes the whole sport better. And right now, UCLA is definitely one of the best teams. That is going to wrap it up, though, for this episode of the Sports Vault. Tons of great action. NFL, college football, MLB, NBA. Good games tonight. Good stretch coming up for Thanksgiving. Rob, these Thanksgiving games we have unbelievable. Seattle and San Fran. Detroit and Chicago. Dallas and Philly. What's the premier one that you got to make sure you're in front of the TV for? I know it's Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Priority is not getting to the TV. But if you could only be there for one, which one are you in front of the TV for? All right, I like the Seattle 49er one, but the one I really want to go with is Dallas-Philly because that is one of the biggest football rivalries, and those guys hate each other. Yes. And that's the game I really want to see. It's going to be an awesome Thanksgiving. I'm set. I'm going to have my food ready with my grandfather. We're going to be set watching this game. Everybody in the Boncardo house and the Artino house, we're all going to be right in front of our TVs for this game going to be a lot of fun but everyone enjoy your thanksgiving it's always a great time to catch up with family watch some good football so you all enjoy and we will be back same time same place for the final episode of the semester so stay with us and we will be back next week uh two weeks two weeks
This is the New York Football Radio Network.